You have a website deployed in anywhere, but you want to put it in your domain. So how you can do that? First of all, we need to have a domain and today I'm going to show you how you can purchase a domain and deploy it in Versal and how you can make everything possibly in a very easy way. And first of all, you need to have a, a GitHub account. Now this is my GitHub account and what I want, I want actually that one. You see this is a private repository, React BD. I want that application to be deployed in domain first one first of all i need to get the domain name reactivity.com and to do that i will take domain from versal so let's uh, go to versal and i'm gonna log in through my github account now already i'm logging with uh, github so it will automatically redirect with that so now it will take the credential or what's to and now that is my actual dashboard of versal so now what I want, I need to have a domains, right? Because of a typical way, Versal will auto, uh, whenever you are deploying an application to Versal, it will give you a uh, default domain. So first of all, let's go purchase the domains. To purchase that, you see there is an option buy domain, add domain, you can add it, you can transfer in domain, so I need to buy domain, right? And now here, you need to search the domain name like reactpd.com i want now you see i already purchased that one now same like if you want to purchase another domain just click on it click continue now you see the yes and now after saying yes it will automatically redirect to you in uh, some other way and after the payment option within five to f two to five minutes your domain will be available for you trust me so now I already have the domains that reactivity.com you see it's uh, already active domain so now what I'm gonna do first of all I need to deploy that project this project inside Versal to deploy that one let's go to add new and it will be new project and of course I want that project from my git repository there you can also deploy it through Versal CLI but it's very easy way to do that with the github now you see you can see my react BD the private account is available over here let's import that one now in here actually I'm not going to in the road directory because that will be in the production level build so I already created that build folder for it now I will select that build folder and continue and then deploy I don't have any environment variables or other output to put right now so now it's gonna spin and get everything required to deploy that application and I think it will be very fast yeah I see it just uh, within a few seconds it's deployed so now if I go to my dashboard I'm gonna see that my react vd is already in online but by default is grabbing that versal.app but I, do, I don't want that one i want to transfer it to versal.com right and there is a very good use of uh, whenever you are purchasing domains from versal it's very easy to manipulate first of all i want to transfer that one and for that's why i will just go to domain and in here either you can add if you add your domain it will be both way it will work but i want to edit it i want to just put it in my domain name reactivity.com so I already purchased from Versal, so Versal is gonna configure everything from me. So see, it just a few milli a few seconds is done. If I go back here, see, my app is up and running in reactivity.com, and it's so simple and so easy. And then also I can have subdomain under it, right? And to create the subdomain, we need to be in Versal dashboard. You can see under domains, we can see our available domains over here. Now reactivity.com, I want to create subdomain under on it. So now you see, I'll, I already created three. So what I'm gonna do, let's create another one, name as a test and type a, a type. And now also add our subdomain value, the same value of our domain. Now my test is ready to be accessible for any application I want to give it now let's take a lightweight application just to see how it will work so in that one if you see and if it's running in the red q text one and dot versal dot app so I want to assign it to my subdomain and to do that let's go to view domain now either I can edit that one I don't want to add it right now let's just add our react dot artist dot reactbd.com and after assigning it I think it will work initially and let's open that one as you see it's very slick now I have my subdomain ready 
Now what if you have a domain in Namecheap or any other platform, how you can connect your domain to your actual application, right? Now I have a domain over here, uh, nurmuhammad.live. I want to connect one of my application from here and that will be my uh, portfolio. What I want, I want to get that portfolio not in a, that address but nurmuhammad.live. So how I can do that? So to do that, first of all, I will show you what I did for the other one, nurmuhammad.com. If we go back to manage, what I did, actually the simplest way, I used the custom uh, DNS and I give the value of the name servers and it's effective in a simple way. So that one also we're gonna implement, otherwise you can also use the custom D, uh, the another one, advanced DNS. So what I'm gonna do in here, not in the basic DNS, I'll go through the custom DNS and now I need to get the value for the name servers, the virtual name servers. That two value over here I need to implement. So first one and then the second one. Now once you click it, it's gonna take a bit of time. You see, it will take around 48 hours to take effect but normally it's taking four to five hours so after it's taking effect it will be just fine just be patient it will just verify that one that's it now if i come over here it will not work right now because it's the verification is still not finished but we can also cross check if it's happening or not so to assign our website to that particular domain let's get our domain name from there it will be in that name we're gonna transfer so let's add that domain and while we are adding i think okay let's type that one okay now it's gonna give you a recommendation because you need to uh, use the www dot which one that for the adding domain so i'll go with the recommendation option and this after okay now it's gonna check every single time you see it's gonna refresh every few 10 seconds 30 seconds it's gonna refresh until that configuration is done so it's showing that configuration we are using the name server so the current one is still uh, is that one because uh, what it said it will take around 48 hours but don't worry around two to four hours it will be just fine and then it will be automatically assigned that value to that uh, domain because as you see i previously did around one or two so that will be just fine because if you just come over here and i believe i did it for my cyber security blog which is assigned on that domain it's a very simple and it will work just fine so now you know how to purchase a domain from Bersel, how to add your domains website in the domains how to create a subdomain and how to connect your additional outsource domain to the Bersel domain so go through it purchase the domain and use it in Versal. it's a very good to use i think it can help you